In today's video, I invited 12 of my subscribers to compete in a fast food build battle, Teams Edition, where each team has been allocated a different fast food establishment, for example, McDonald's, KFC, Starbucks, Taco Bell, Subway, or Dunkin' Donuts, and each team will get 60 minutes to finish their building with a budget of $50,000 each, which adds up to $100,000 per team, and they can only build within an 8x8 square. And at the end of the video, I'll be inviting all of my subscribers to come vote for the winner, and the two winners will receive 100 Robux each. So, if you guys want to participate in a future video like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join my Roblox group, and most importantly, join my Discord server with the link in my description. So with that being said, let's meet today's contestants. Okay, let's start with KFC first. So in the KFC build battle team, we have Slay Mimi Cat, and we have M What the Flip. <laughs> Guys, help, I'm trapped in the back. No, don't listen to her, don't listen to her. They're not trapped in the basement, okay? Everything's fine, everything's normal. All right, so that is our KFC team. Next up, we have McDonald's. So is that Grimish. Oh my gosh. So in the McDonald's team, we have Chanel and we have ABC Nuts. ABC Nuts. Girl. I don't know how to say your name, but these two. <laughs> yes, show us them dance moves, Grimish. I don't know how to say your name. Okay, back here, we have Dunkin' Donuts team. And on the Dunkin' Donuts team, we have Slaying with my Fanny. Guys, <laughs> I think I said that wrong. Is that how you say the name? And we also have Karma baddie. I feel like I know you from somewhere. Why do I know you? Okay, so on the subway team, we have Zoe and we have Because. Just Because. You guys have such random display names. On the Taco Bell team, we have Heart Haven. Cat's Poop Rainbow. That is an interesting username. Let me out, please. Guys, I'm not kidnapping you. And then we also have Froggy Plays. Very interesting team on the Taco Bell. And then last but not least, we have the Starbucks team, which include Sunny and Lemon. Oh, that is such a cute little team name. Sunny Lemon. Very cute. So they are our contestants for today. So are you guys ready? They're all saying yes. Someone just says I was born ready. Okay, well, I think all the teams are ready to start their build battle. So with that being said, I hope you guys have predicted in the comments which one is going to be your favorite. The fast food build battle starts now. All the teams will have one hour to complete their building. This is going to be such a fun episode today because I've I've only done one team build battle in the past and it was so good so i'm super excited to see how this turns out i want to start doing more team build battles in the future i actually have a really big build battle planned for you guys in a couple of weeks so i'm looking forward to that I'm so excited to see all these buildings. If you didn't know, I had a series on my channel where I built fast food chains and I invited you guys on. So this is kind of like a blast into the past. I'm gonna be very curious as to see whether or not each of them are gonna build my fast food that I built. That would be kind of cute. Okay, McDonald's. You know what? McDonald's is looking very similar to mine. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Damn, it looks like most of them are going for a two-story building. That is very risky, especially with only an hour on the clock. Sunny just goes, Lemon, this is too small. That's what she said. You know what? I am actually curious. I wonder if there's going to be any team arguments today. What if one team member really likes the building and then the other team member hates it? What are they going to do then? I do really like how Starbucks is incorporating a drive through That's kind of unique. Oh, I can already tell KFC is going for a modern approach. As is McDonald's, honestly. Dunkin' Donuts, however, is doing a massive establishment. I don't even think there's like a two-story Dunkin' Donuts, is there? Who knows? Okay, Subway's going with the classic Subway exterior. We love that. And then we have Taco Bell, the place where everyone pulls their pants. <laughs> Very nice. Slaying with my Fanny. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if I'm saying this username right. Maybe it's slaying with my fan. I'm just gonna say slaying with my fan. Oh my gosh, guys, not one of the Subway members getting disconnected. Subway, what are you doing, girl? I love when I come out of build mode and I look how quickly my money decreases. Look at that. I'm going poor by the minute. Okay, all of the teams officially have 50 minutes left. That was the quickest 10 minutes of my life. 
So we'll see how they're all going, starting with uh, Dunkin' Donuts, because I just want to know why they've got a Christmas tree at the front. And I don't know what's this meant to be. They're building something custom at the front. I just got no clue. The inside, however, looks pretty neat. We then have Subway, which doesn't have a roof yet, but they've got two pillars at the front. And then we have Taco Bell with some neon lights by the door. I mean, the good thing is they're all going pretty accurate with the color scheme, especially KFC. I love the front bit of KFC. This is so like modern. And honestly, it's something I would build. So good job to KFC nice. and Starbucks. I love this Starbucks. Oh, I thought this was going to be a drive through but apparently it's just an entryway, which yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. Oh, I love the custom windows they're building. Okay, and then we've got McDonald's. Yes, sir. You know what would be cool if McDonald's added the playground? Okay, and while I let the teams finish up their buildings, I'm gonna be doing what I always do, which is stalking their plots. Starting with this person. All right, who is this? Who are you? ABC Nats. What on earth is this? This is huge. It's almost as big as your foreheads. <laughs> All right, next person. What's this? Is this a farm? Who is this? Chanel. Oh my god, Chanel's got custom horses. What? Chanel, I want these horses. This is so cool. Okay, whose plot is this? Nah, I need to know because <laughs> this looks like every traditional American home. It even has an American flag at the front. Kind of feel bad breaking in, but oh, I have to because look at this. <gasps> this custom table. Oh, girl. I'm stealing that. This is so realistic. What the heck? She ate and left no crumbs. Anyway, back to the builders. Let's see how they're going. This is very suspenseful. KFC is currently in the middle of doing a custom KFC logo with neon lights. Do you reckon they're gonna flop? We shall see. However, KFC is also working on the inside. This is actually pretty nice. Keep in mind, they can only build within an eight by eight block. So this is actually kind of impressive. You know what KFC, I gotta say, that's better than what I would do. <laughs> also Taco Bell is going really well for the exterior. Salem. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me know in the comments. Does anyone want to buy my cats? Because they are driving me insane. Every single time I record, you know what they want to do? Oh, let me in your room. Like, no. Okay, the first team to add a fridge and a kitchen is Dunkin' Donuts. Congratulations. They've also snagged all my uh, inventory items, I see. Ooh, sneaky. You teasing me, you naughty naughty. You know what would be cool? If Subway done a custom sandwich on the top of their roof, that would be sick. And then Taco Bell done a custom poo. I get it? Because everyone poos themselves at Taco Bell. I don't know. I've never actually had Taco Bell before. <laughs> I just hope all the teams are communicating clearly because if I was on a team, I would say, okay, I'm gonna work on the outside while you work on the inside. So let's hope that's what they're doing. I think this has got to be my favorite build battle so far. Cause usually in a build battle, the buildings would look like pretty similar because they're all the same theme. But in this build battle, each team has a completely different theme. So each building is gonna be completely different than the other. For example, KFC looks nothing like Starbucks in like the best way. Also, whoever's building the outside of Starbucks, I love this so much. And the inside as well. And then we have KFC, which you know what? It's pretty accurate to KFC. Some would say it's even finger licking good. Haha, <laughs> I'll shut up. And we can finally see what Starbucks is doing here. <gasps> Guys, I think that I know what they're doing. They're doing a coffee cup or something. That is the most creative thing ever. Are you joking? Whoever's doing Dunkin' Donuts, GG to you, because you're doing really well. <laughs> Okay, update. The teams now only have 30 minutes left, which means they have another 30 minutes to try and finish their build. And so far, I actually think they're all going pretty well. I honestly think they're going to finish in time, as most of them are already finished with, like, the outside, Nui. I find it so funny that the front of these buildings looks so good, and then you turn around, it's just like, surprise! <laughs> Oh, I raised you guys so well. Say it with me, we do not care about the back of the building. Also, Subway's going super well. This is just like typical Subway, you know? Like when I walk in here, I automatically know it's Subway and I wanna order a chocolate chip cookie. Also, Dunkin' Donuts. Can we just, just a round of applause for Dunkin' Donuts? With a 50K budget, they've somehow managed to do this like really cool exterior design. And the inside like gets even better. Like what the heck? Is that my initials up the top? Oh, that's so cute. 
classic Taco Bell exterior, if I say so myself. The inside though, I love this chandelier. However, where on earth is your floor? Imagine if they leave it just like this, like, oh, surprise, this is my Taco Bell. Hope you enjoy, Mwah. Okay, let's see what's going on with the inside of McDonald's. I haven't checked on them in a while. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is giving me like, you know those McDonald's from the 90s? That type of vibe. And then we have KFC with our first outdoor seating. Okay, I'll scratch that. Starbucks also has outdoor seating. However, what's going on with the inside of KFC? Ooh, a very nice kitchen. I'm assuming this is gonna be a booth. I don't know, but I'm honestly, oh, the suspense is killing me. The fact that I'm hosting a fast food battle, even though I cannot have fast food because I have celiac disease. <laughs> like literally, Taco Bell, nope. Starbucks, kind of, I can have a few drinks. KFC, nope, 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 nope. Okay, the time's nearly up. They have 20 minutes left. And so far the plot value is $174,000. So honestly, not too bad. I'm scared that Dunkin' Donut have ran out of a budget. <laughs> I think definitely one of the team members may have ran out of a budget doing the outside. However, it looks like someone's still decorating on the inside. So yeah, there's someone placing stuff down. So I know that they haven't ran out of a budget yet. All right, players, guess what? I'm gonna say a smiley face. 20 minutes left. <laughs> someone just goes, stop Alaska. Please. Imagine if I just said time's up. <laughs> okay, I've let the players build for a little bit so I can see their progress that they've made. First, I wanna have a look at Starbucks because whoa, we've got a bunch of chairs and tables in here. I love the Christmas decor they've added. Taco Bell as well is doing very nice. They still have to build their kitchen though and their entire upstairs. So I'm actually praying for Taco Bell, but I do think Taco Bell is building on an iPad. So credits to you, Taco Bell. Subway is also doing very well. It's crazy how accurate this is to a typical Subway. Even the kitchen looks so similar. <laughs> Slay just goes, don't mess with me. <laughs> Who are they talking to? Okay, next we've got Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, I got no words. Dunkin', you amaze me. Yeah! Okay, and then last we've got Maccas. Maccas is pretty accurate. And the thing with Maccas is that like, you can do the inside however you want because each Maccas is different. Like where I live, there's a Maccas that's from like 1950. And then there's a Maccas that was built like last week. So you really can't go wrong, you know? Also KFC, get rid of that spider. Okay guys, the home stretch, which means 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left, y'all. I said 10 minutes left and Karma Baddy goes, my God. Someone said extra time, question mark? No extra time, I'm afraid. I'm telling y'all, I don't cheat in these build battles. What you see is what you get. Okay, you know what? I'm actually not gonna look at the end result until the 10 minutes is up. So I'm gonna let all the builders finish up their fast food chain. And I'm just gonna sit here like a patient lady and wait for them to finish. A few moments later. Okay, I know I said I wouldn't have a look, but the players now only have one minute left. I haven't looked inside yet, but I really hope that they all finished. And I hope that none of them have run out of a budget. But so far by the looks of it, they're all going pretty well. And I'm just super excited to see the end result. I'm so excited. So with that being said, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Okay, end time. Would everyone like to hop out of build mode? Okay, they all get five minutes to change their decals. I think they already know. I, I was just about to type you have five minutes to change decals, but I don't have to because they've already ran. I'm smelly. I need to poo. What? Um, what do you want me to do about that? Okay, so we have McDonald's over there changing their decals. <laughs> they look like little construction workers. I cannot believe how well they have all done today. I've never been more excited to have a look at the inside compared to now. Everyone has changed their decals, which means we can successfully have a look at all of the fast food chains. Okay, so let's start off with Starbucks first. From the outside, it looks like Starbucks went with a traditional look. Typical green and beige. I love the outside, these little outdoor chairs and tables and now coming inside oh this is nice okay starbucks hello i mean while i'm here i'll have a coffee frappe please i'll test them on their customer service <laughs> very cute you forgot about the coffee maker <laughs> wow starbucks did not give me their coffee frappe disgraceful <laughs> well i mean good thing is i'm not judging them on their customer service skills i am judging them on their building and so far this starbucks is looking amazing i love the upstairs as well even the tvs in the corner were a nice touch oh look they ended up giving me my coffee frappe thank 
you. All right, thank you, Starbucks. Now, moving on is, of course, the one and only Kids Fattening Center, also known as KFC. <laughs> now, the first thing I noticed about KFC is why is there a spider right at the front here? Ignoring that, though, this is quite nice. I love the color scheme they went with. And if we come inside, oh, this looks like so accurate to a normal KFC. That's actually crazy. Is that a photo of me? Why does that look like a poster of Oppenheimer? <laughs> Hello, welcome. What would you like today? Nothing. I'm allergic. I also spelled allergic wrong, but it's okay. <laughs> Oh, help. Okay, let's see this kitchen. Oh, very nice kitchen, KFC. I love how the window looks directly into Subway. What are you doing? Get out of my face. Get out of my face now. Oh, we have an upstairs to this KFC. Very nice. I love the booth. Very interesting photos that they chose. My cat Gordon Ramsay. Love it. Uh, I rate this KFC finger licking good out of 10. Now, third, we have McDonald's. The outside of this McDonald's is so modern. I've said that a few times, but it's really nice. Now, coming inside. Oh, look, we've got automatic doors, guys. Automatic doors. Oh, this inside is really. Is that another Gordon Ramsay poster? Oh, and a photo of me on the toilet. Okay, the inside of this is super nice. Good job, McDonald's. Not sure about the person on the counter, though. Is that a part of the customer service? Why do you got money in your hand? Okay, Grimace. Hello. Hello, Alaska. We have been expecting you. What can I get you? Oh, another coffee frappe, please. Alaska, follow me. Don't look at him. Look at me. What? What do you want from me? Well, I mean, the good thing is the tables are lovely. And the chairs as well. We have food for you. Is that baby food? What is this? Not the baby food. I'm out of here. So moving on, we have Dunkin' Donuts. I think we can all agree that Dunkin' Donuts has such a lovely exterior. Like everywhere you look, it's just so well thought out. Starting with the entryway, most creative thing I think I've ever seen in a build battle ever. This is incredible. And then we have the inside, which is just... <gasps> I actually have the words. Welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. This is the best store in the world. We hope you enjoy. Oh, thank you. Oh, did I not say at the beginning of the video they're going to have a Charlie D'Amelio poster? This is lovely. Okay, to be honest, if I had a Dunkin' Donuts like this where I lived, I think I would be here all the time. The color palette is just beautiful. Everything fits so nicely together. Even the little lineup here and the cash register. So yeah, good job to Dunkin'. They've done such an amazing job. And now moving on to our next fast food establishment which is Subway Eat Fresh. Okay, I love this Subway. I think this is adorable. Whoever made this, I think it was this person here. And I'm pretty sure because I actually made this by themselves because their teammate left, I'm pretty sure. But honestly, wherever you look, the Subway is just so detailed. Every single Subway that I've been to looks exactly like this. And I mean, look, it even has the map. Like what? What? And then we have these counters here, which I'm assuming this is like where you make your sandwich. Oh, I'll have a uh, Italian uh, BMT, please. Subway, eat fresh. <laughs> to order a chocolate chip cookie. No. Oh, I see. She just turned me down. Fine. I don't want your KFC cookies. So now, last but not least, we have Taco Bell. I personally don't have Taco Bell where I live, but I'm assuming it looks pretty accurate to this. Whoa. Oh my gosh. No. Jeez. Get out of my face. Anyway, Okay, this is the inside of the Taco Bell. Lovely seating options here. Lots of tacos. Awesome choice of decals everywhere. I'm actually really impressed. Nice. We have the kitchen back here. We have another photo of me and Gordon Ramsay. What is it with you guys? The squirrel just gave me a taco. Thank you. Nom, 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 nom. Can you don't? I don't know if I want to go down there. Okay, now. Okay, the Taco Bell has a second floor. So let's check this out. No, why would you guys put bold Alaska on me? Guys, listen. You have to delete that photo. That's not me. Wait, I just realized Taco Bell has a custom rug that says Taco Bell. That is so creative. Okay, then lastly, they have this weird little section. Can you don't? Can I? Oh, well, I think I just got trapped inside of a Taco Bell, which means it is time to invite all my subscribers onto the neighborhood to vote for the final winner of today's build battle. Oh gosh, the server is already filling up so fast. Yeah, I'm just gonna hide over here. Let's just hope no one sees me. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Okay, everyone is eagerly joining the server, including whatever this is. What is that? Oh God, no, did you see that? You, get back here. What are you? Who are you? Well, anyway, 
while my subscribers have a look at all of the winners before they begin to vote, I guess I'm just gonna stalk them and follow them around. So pretty much what everyone is gonna do is have a look at all of the fast food chains. And then once they have a look at all of them, they will choose a winner by standing in the square that they want to win. So far, a lot of people are in Taco Bell, including a cow. That cow's not gonna be there for too long before it gets eaten. Someone said they love the Taco Bell. Okay, what about the Subway? Someone said vote for Subway. I wonder how many votes are gonna be for Subway. I really like Subway. And then we've got Dunkin' Donuts, which is honestly the most detailed thing ever. So I'm gonna be so shocked if this doesn't get many votes. Like literally shocked. We also then have McDonald's with a few people inside already. This eats just like how I eat Alaska's toast. <laughs> oh, okay. What conversation did I just walk in on? You guys have the weirdest conversations. What is this? Mummy, I stole money from Subway. Yes. <gasps> Fraud. Okay, there's some fraud going on in McDonald's. One of the builders at McDonald's said, choose us for fresh fries every time. That is such a lie. When I used to order fries from McDonald's, that was crusty, rusty, and dusty. Okay, so now it is time for them to all take their votes. Alaska, come out. What does this guy want from me? Anyway, voting begins now. So I'm gonna start off by counting the votes from Starbucks to KFC to McDonald's to Duncan and then to Subway, and then finally to Taco Bell. First, we have all of the votes from Starbucks. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and no more on the roof, which means Starbucks has a total of six votes. Next, we have KFC. KFC gets a total of, <laughs> is that Victor from Despicable Me? The moon. Okay, KFC with, what just happened? Hello? Okay, we're back, I don't know what happened. KFC with a total of one, two, and no more on the inside, which means KFC gets a total of two votes. Okay, next we have McDonald's with a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven votes. So McDonald's with eleven votes, which so far puts them in first place. And then next we have Dunkin' Donuts. Oh gosh, Dunkin' has a lot of votes. All right, Dunkin' with a total of one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-six, thirty-two, thirty-six votes. Oh my gosh, I think that. That's our most votes in a build battle ever. Okay, next we've got Subway with a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven votes. And then last but not least, we've got Taco Bell with a total of one, two, three, and four votes, which means our winner of our 2023 fast food battle, the winner is Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Woo! Honestly though, that was well deserved. Dunkin' Donuts done such an incredible job. But then again, so did everyone else, to be honest. I personally really loved Subway as well as McDonald's. Like all of them done such an amazing job and I genuinely cannot fault them. So I think you guys picked really well with our winners. And apparently the other team member crashed because uh, Daddy typed out on the floor. My teammate crashed. <laughs> Anyway, a big congratulations to today's winners. They've done such an incredible job. And because two of them are on my Roblox group, they'll be receiving 100 Robux each. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.